So today we're going to talk about the best bottles that have been released since this latest bourbon. Welcome back to another edition of Bourbon Kingdom. I'm David. And I'm Zach. And today we are going to talk about the best thing since sliced bread. Which is a lot of bourbon. <laughs> uh, so today we thought we'd do a little bit of a fun video. We're kind of, uh, I don't, how should We've I been this? looking back over the last three or four years and just kind of going, you know what? What have, what have been the greatest things to come out? Yeah. In the last three or four years. Maybe even since our channel started. Well, we're... that was part of the criteria. Yeah. So basically, you know, we kind of started our channel in the middle of this latest bourbon boom of new people kind of getting into bourbon. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. You know, and even though we have been drinking bourbon longer than that. Yep. Uh, we just kind of thought like we would talk about some bottles that we love that we've reviewed and drank and talked about and shared with you guys. Um, By the way. Uh, we were we did do a video before this, and this video, uh, someone was kind enough to send us a bunch of samples. This happens to be the Maker's Mark Seller's Age, and so we decided that we're going to continue to drink through this video because we don't want this good stuff to go to waste. Yeah, true. That was a fun video. Uh, with all that being said, um, put in the comments below what you all think is some of the best bottles, yeah. bourbon tries, whatever, that's been released so far. Um, hit that like, subscribe, turn on the notifications, and do your part so we can do our part. Exactly. A couple things really quick. <clears throat> All of these bottles that we're talking about are probably really hard to find. My apologies ahead of time. So, but if you're angry about that, I am sorry. Put in comments below. Helps out the analytics. It's all good. <laughs> yell, and, yell and scream at us. It's, it only helps. Um, with that being said, uh, we also didn't put anything from this year because we didn't, you know, Dave and I talked about it and we, and I actually, we actually are in agreement. We're, we're totally in agreement on it because realistically I, I can bring up bottles every year that I think is going to be towards the top. And then we do them in a blind and they don't do well. And we've at the been end of the surprised. We, like, the, since we've done this channel, we've been surprised. Like, we will taste something and be like, that's going to be in, that's going to be top five. Jack Daniels 12 year and, always and comes to mind. And it ends up being outside the top 10 mm -hmm. or whatever. And uh, the truth is, is like, we want to wait till the end of the year to, to yep. make a final judgment on what the greatest of the year is. Mm -hmm. And so we don't want to put anything in 2024. So everything on this list is 2023 and prior so yeah i agree i would probably say if we were gonna do this year so far probably the russell's 15 old fitz 13 evan williams 23 year <laughs> that listen that evan williams 23 year is gonna be on this list <laughs> because it is absolutely ridiculous and if you've yeah. had it you know it's ridiculous and the price is ridiculous. Yeah. Everything about it's yeah. ridiculous, but yeah. the taste is unbelievable. Uh, it's great. I don't even know why I'm giving a shameless plug to Evan Williams' 23 year, uh, <laughs> but I am. Uh, also, all of these bottles that we're going to talk about, most or all of them are in our top ten. Most of them placed in our top five or yeah. right outside of our top five yeah. during you know our end of the year whiskeys and stuff like that. So if y'all want to go back and look at them. Feel more and free. We always do a top twenty, uh, so that yeah. way you guys can always like go back and, yeah. and look at our top twenty. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna start. So, I mean, no particular order. So we're not ranking them. So, anyways, um, you know, we already were talking about it. So I felt like we needed to start with this one. Oh yeah, that's such a great way <clears throat> to start. Maker's Mark Seller's Age. It was a bottle that I just thought to myself, "There's no way it lives up to the hype of it." Because we're finally getting that ultra age makers. Like makers didn't even think it was going to be what it was. Makers hit <laughs> a gold mine. They hit a grand slam. Yeah. They, they totally crushed it with this one. We're, we're both drinking on it right now. It's absolutely fantastic. It's fantastic. And as I was talking to somebody from makers, they're like, it's the greatest thing and the worst thing that's ever happened to us. Because now everybody's like, why aren't you aging your whiskey? Yeah, and the truth is, is what is if they do make your seller de, seller's age twenty twenty four, is it going <clears> to <throat> live up to this? 
Chances are, no. Well, but <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. Chances are, no. But the truth <clears throat> is, is like sometimes magic in a bottle happens once, and it's okay. True. Uh, and not that this will help the cause, whatever, but it's supposed to be older and I think higher in proof <laughs> <laughs> for the next one. Because they are doing it in 2024. So, woo Yes, Cheers. please. All right. Hey, I'll, I'll pull this over this side. Mm -hmm. But if you know, you know. I'll probably say that with all of them. If you know, you know. It's so good. Everybody's going to know all of them by the end of it. Yeah. Let's talk about your absolute favorite from last year. Oh, this is by far my favorite from last year. Matter of fact, I still have the I have this bottle at my house. I have yet to open it because because he drinks on mine. I drink on his, and I just don't <laughs> I don't want it to go away. And so I, I have this fear of like running out of it, even though I haven't opened it to run out of it. Uh, this was unbelievable. The CNF was just unbelievable, and I. It was like a perfect bourbon. By the way, this is the Russell's Reserve Single Rick House. This was taken from the uh, Camp Fort Nelson uh, F. The F Rick House. Yes. So, because the year before was the C Rick House, I think. C, it was C and C, I think. I don't think it was Camp Nelson, though. No, it was Camp Nelson. Was it? Yeah. Okay. Um, yes. This this is great. The, the, the only thing I'll add to this. Well, I'll add two things, actually, now I'm thinking about it. People didn't want to buy these or didn't want to believe in them because of the price. It, it was a dumb price, just like a lot of things Wild Turkey yeah. is anymore. Like, it sucks, but it is what it is. It's not. It's out of their <clears> hands. <throat> like, it's literally out of their hands. With that being said, people have slept on these. People, <clears throat> I, I think there will be, in the next couple of years, when people are looking back, they'll be like, why didn't I get more of these instead of Russell's 13? And literally, secondarily, these were like 300. They were like 350, I think. Like 350 or whatever it was. Uh, secondarily, you can you can get this for maybe 25 to 30 dollars over top of what it was for retail. Do yourself a favor and pick this up because it is so good. Yeah, I mean it's absolutely fantastic. It's but not like you're paying double for this. <clears throat> On the secondary market, you can literally pick this up for almost what it costs. That's very true. Um, and unbelievable bottom. If you know, you know. Gosh, we're <laughs> just gonna go through hitter after hitter. Oh, this I, list. I mean, this, this is, is a hitter. This is, so this, is a, this is a hitter list. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I even forgot about this bottle. Listen, I know you did. Listen, A. Smith Bowman, <laughs> cast strength. This bottle at 140, what was it, 141? This hazmat bottle, unbelievable. I don't have to say anything. Just look at how excited he was. <laughs> Listen, I just kind of want to drink this right now. Reverse it about. But he doesn't have much in there. To, reverse to it do about that. 10 seconds, 15 seconds, and just go back and look at his face. That should tell you everything about I this. Totally bottle. forgot about this bottle. Listen, this was unbelievable. This A. Smith moment, he found this by happenstance. Like, just happened uh, to be in a bar. It's legitimately one of the best whiskey stories ever. That's for another time. That is day. for another time. Unbelievable. It is. And you know what's what's funny about it is, is like, people don't know. And I talk to people all the time, and people ask me, it's like, is it good? Is it whatever? <laughs> I'm like... It's literally some of the best stuff I've ever had. It's unbelievable. Like it, it is truly the batch one. Okay, I'm not talking about batch three. Batch two is good. Batch one's better. But batch it, one's the best. It is phenomenal stuff at the end of the day. It's like a sequel. Like the you never match the original. The sequels are good, but they never match the original. Same with this. I forgot about that. Dude, I forgot this bottle was on there. I oh. think we're about ready to start playing the song where they force him off stage. Mm. This is going to be a 45 minute video. <laughs> All right. This is the Old Forester 117 series. This is the High Angel Share Batch 1. Now, this would probably, probably would be arguably potentially our most controversial bottle on there because some people would say that this still isn't the best High Angel Share, or not the best, 
the best 117. But this set the standard for 117s. I agree. Like, I don't know if it's the best. I think there's like Whiskey Row oh, Fire. I, I think this one is still the best. Well, no, we. I think we did a blind of them. I think we did. And I think this still won. It's still won. Like, Whiskey Row Fire is still awesome. Though. It is awesome. Like, there's a bunch of really good 117 series. Uh, this is still, like, it just, it's just so good. It's, it, if you don't have it, you'll never get it. And I hate that for you, but it was so good. It is one of those, it came and it went. And there's a ton of it that hit whenever they first released it. Cause you could buy four bottles every day for a week. Oh, yeah. So cool. It was four bottles four every bottles. single day. They don't do that anymore. They don't do that anymore. And it was, I mean, I met people who literally drove from Georgia, yeah. who drove over from New York. On this first release, drove from I Texas. Mean, you're sitting in line yeah. waiting for it. And there were people from, yeah, from Georgia, from Indiana, from Michigan, from, I mean, Indiana. all those, well, you, I mean... <laughs> you you live five minutes from the distillery, so you don't count. Seven. Seven, whatever it is. Um, Great stuff. Phenomenal. Yeah. That's the way you drop. <clears throat> There's one other. I, <clears throat> I am losing my voice in the middle of this video. There is one other distillery, I think, that dropped a banger batch one, arguably better. Oh, yeah. Russell's this, 13 batch one. Yeah, this was. Yes. Yeah, this. Truthfully, honestly, whenever they dropped this, it was one of those. It was like whenever we drank it that day. Or the was first this the I, same as Kelvin 4? Same year? Same year as Kelvin 4. I don't remember. This was Maybe. in our top three, wasn't it? No. It wasn't even in our top three? No, but the year that we had that, was I Was that think, the same year as Heaven Hill 17? No, no, year before that. We'll get into that year. Okay. Um, that was this really actually good, yeah. finished like fifth or sixth for us that year. There was three oh, yeah. certified bangers. There's one of them in here. Uh, this one. Yeah. This one. And then that one over yeah, there. Yeah. 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 Um, going back to Russell's 13. This, this batch, batch one that one. came out, there was two things that whenever I drank, it was like everything wild turkey that I wanted. Yeah. Because I love off profile stuff. And for Wild Turkey to come out with a blueberry note, I've never had a blueberry note in my life from Wild Turkey. Yeah. And I was like, dear Lord, I need more. Mm -hmm. And this came out at $80. I repeat. $80. You can't sniff a 13 <laughs> You cannot sniff a 13 year for that. You can't sniff anything allocated from Wild Turkey for $80 now. I really want to drink this right now. So now nah, we'll 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 do something special with that because we gotta we gotta kill that bottle. Maybe we'll take it up to uh, Port in the Park, mm. kill it up there, have a cigar with it, maybe. Oh, mm -hmm. um, yeah. But anyways, uh, really good stuff. Yeah, it, it was phenomenal, and it came out of nowhere. Yeah, it literally came out of nowhere. All right, we're gonna have to speed through these because this is gonna be a forty-five minute video, if not. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and talk about it. Four gate Kelvin four. This is my favorite Kelvin. By any stretch of the imagination, the four gate Kelvin four. Uh, this was an absolute banger. Yeah, that's actually a great, great way I would word that. It yeah. was an, without question, unbelievable, an absolute banger. And the Kelvin keep have always saying been... in every one of these, unbelievable. Like every single one of these are unbelievable. Like all of these have been like all the Kelvins have been really good to great. Um, I really love the new Kelvin that's came out with that rum finish and stuff. Mm. This, I think is the second best 48 behind, um, oh, the, um, oh my gosh, what should we call it? The um, the Eagle one. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and I don't know why. It's I've not had right. that one, so this is yes, the best Yes, you have, one. you had it at Pours in the Park. Did uh, I get it? Yes, Blake has, it. Blake has it in his room every year at Pours in the Park. Oh yes. And Blake just always like, kind of like, here you go, Zach, because he knows how much I love it. Uh. So, Eagle Listen, Thief, that, Blake, that's the name of it. Blake, it's July <laughs> in August. We're going to see you in about a week and a half. Uh, I need Ish. to have some of that Eagle that eagle Thief. Yeah, it's fantastic. Just so I can remember exactly what it was because this is unbelievable uh, and so good. So, 
All right, and another one we'll do. Yes, that was the one I was hoping you would grab. Is this the 2022? Nope. Oh, that's this year. Yeah, the 135th. So I think when it comes to Four Roses LEs, A, they're slept on tremendously, except for this year, because everyone went crazy over this year. And I was joking around with you and, and other people. It's like, if I don't get an LE this year, it's fine. I'll pick one up on the secondary. It'll be like, you know, if I don't get 300 ish bucks. If I don't get one of the 15,060 <laughs> bottles. Here's what's crazy there's 15,000 bottles of it, and it was still hard to get. It really was hard. It to get. was yeah. hard to get. Now, I still didn't get one. It was, it was one of those that it was like, I got six. <laughs> He, <laughs> Dave had a situation. Here's what's funny. Uh, Dave was given a heads up on that situation through a mutual friend of ours. Yep. And he's like, hey, they're going to have these bottles there. You might want to you might want to go see about it. Yeah. And he went and saw about it. Now, to give Dave credit, he, he tipped off the dude that gave him the tip. Yep. So he was able to hook another guy up with a bottle. Yep, for sure. So that was, if, if y'all ever question Dave... Remember, he's a good dude for that. Going back to this, though. That was such a good bottle. It's a phenomenal bottle. Yeah. And last year was really good. I no, think 2022 I, was really good. It was either 22 or 21 that we loved. Yeah. It, it got, like, in our top 10 yeah. as well. Uh, last year was a little bit off profile because it had that maple note on there. Mm -hmm. I still like that one a lot. Um, with all that being said, these LEs get slept on, except for this past year's. This past year, like, doubled in secondary, everybody wanted one. It is crazy awesome. It is everything you want in a Four Roses. And I don't know which one's better. I I go back and forth between, like, this 2019 LE and 2016, because I love all three of those. Uh, I'd probably say 19 this and then 16. Yeah. But whatever. Still one of the best ones I've ever done. Yep. So, so good. So, lastly, because there's just too many bottles just to do it. Yep. Just do one video. Yep, for sure. The Heaven Hill Heritage Collection, 17 year. This is my bottle of all bottles. This is my unicorn. This is my favorite bottle that's come out in this latest boom. This is it. I mean... Honestly, this is the one you put a hurting on. Yeah, I kind of second wanna, most outside of Nia Schiller. I kind of want to drink that right now. <laughs> um, I will say this: for Heaven Hill to come, you literally put drops of water in there. Do not defile this glorious bottle. Uh, this, I, you know, how should I word this? I want to see how you word this. They came out wanting to compete with BTAC. And at first, when we first had it, it wasn't quite to that level. But it evolved and it kept, you know, a little air and a little this, a little that. And it just kept getting better. I won't lie, I thought you had the cap off. I thought you were just pouring your hands. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> how, how mad would you be? If I don't I even did, know what he was doing over there. I'm that. just going to pretend and ignore it like it even happened. Mm. They Heaven Hill has done such an excellent job yeah. with with a lot of releases here recently. Yeah. Uh, this being one of them. It is. It, it really took a very crazy, miraculous hitter for this not to be Whiskey of the Year for us. Um, that is true. And it was like a one-off of all one-offs yeah. uh, of type of hitter that really dethroned this one. Because I think what you said whenever we did our end of the year, if we had a 1A that won, this was the 1B. It really was 1B. So, but overall, it's a phenomenal bottle, and people slept on this. And it got really cheap on the secondary. People, I don't want to say ever, like, didn't buy it or whatever. Obviously, people did. Yeah. But I think people undervalued this and. Again, just a crazy awesome bottle. I'm looking for a backup. So if anybody has one that they're looking to get rid of, I, let's talk because we can make <laughs> some deals. <laughs> I'm not a I'm not above making a deal on this because this bottle is unbelievable and I have one. 
I've yet to open it because I still am drinking on his. Uh, but I'm afraid. <laughs> he just to op- opens up mine. I'm afraid to open it because I, I don't have a backup for it. So if you're looking to get rid of one, hit me up. Anyways, so this was our part one of kind of doing like our best since yeah. like the you know the latest whiskey boom. So yeah. put in the comments below on what some bottles you think should be added and be on the lookout because we are going to do a part two. Uh, it'll probably be the next video after this if this is a Tuesday, Thursday, whatever it is. Yeah. Um, so anyways, until then. Till next time. We'll see you. We'll see you.